Hello, this is John Kenlopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece, Clinical Professor of Ophthalmology at NYU Medical School in New York City, New York. Very, very excited to share with you this very challenging case. This is a uh, gentleman in his uh, early 70s with these severe central cornea scars. I can describe them as salesman-like nodules. Uh, you can see here the dramatic images on the anterior segment OCT. This is the Avanti the significant regularity in the cornea his vision has dropped to essentially hand motion for several years now we can also see how it obscures the optus view on his right eye wide field from this uh, image he's essentially functioning as monocular with his left eye these are the um, his refractive data and what we're going to do as a first step is go in and surgically remove the cells on nodules you can see that there's significant scarring in the inferior part of the cornea so there's some severe external disease going on which we will treat uh, with uh, topical cyclosporin A, autologous serum and topical steroids but in order to visually rehabilitate this patient I'm going in with a crescent blade and I'm going to scrape off this uh, hyaline irregularity that you can see that it easily comes off I'll do the same uh, with the uh, other satellite lesions from the central cornea and then we're going to employ our EX500 Exerman laser by Wavelight Alcon to perform a 50 micron 7 millimeter in diameter PTK. I know this version of software is not available in the US um, version of the laser. You can see how uh, we have a little bit of oozing from the uh, paralimbal area so we're trying to normalize the surface after the superficial keratectomy we detailized the cornea we removed the hyaline scars from the central cornea and it, we were left with a concavity right in the center so here we're going to use some bss as a masking agent i'm placing a drop of bss i'm going to go with my wexel sponge to try and create a masking cover to the um, actual concavity and treat here the myopic version of the refractive error of this patient. The PTK uh, version will t make him turn a little bit myopic and you can see here how employing now the x 500 Exmer laser and I'm uh, viewing the irregularity. I'm using my Mycin C and then placing a bandage contact lens, treat with topical steroids, autologous serum, and uh, topical cyclosporin A. And this is a picture three months later. We can see the dramatic improvement also in the external disease of the patient. And now comes the time to do cataract surgery. We can see the improvement in uh, uh, the pentacam anterior segment tomography before and after. And on the right, the difference maps, dramatic improvement. Again, here the topometric indices, we have an HD from 141 to normal 0 0.010. And how the uh, anterior segment, uh, to total cornea and epithelial maps have uh, dramatically improved. So now we can go in and uh, perform cataract surgery. These are the uh, current post uh, superficial keratectomy and PTK treatment. Again, dramatic images of the before, below, after, top. The patient uh, still remains a challenge for uh, intracranial lens calculation. We can see here the actual length is myopic. Uh, we are at uh, uh, 26 almost millimeters, 2692 on immersion, uh, A scan. And you can see that now the uh, central cornea resembles a hyperopic treatment, or if you may, a central cone. And these are the uh, sine fluke uh, four maps uh, tier segment curvature elevation and this is the domain interferometer that um, uh, gives us a 26.92 actual length and you can see how many ways we're using to approach these patients uh, relatively good in the field of cell count here although we're noticing some polymegathism typical with the uh, age we're going to use the IL calculator by the ACRS as if this patient was a hyperopic treated patient because that's the image we have on topography. And we're gonna also use our own um, formula here, which is um, 
to perform an IO calculation and just uh, subtract the adapter and a half if this was a hyperopic patient, add two adapters if it's a myopic patient. So we're coming up with a toric lens. And again, the toricity we've uh, reported this comes from a simulation of a topography guided treatment with the vario topographer or the pentacam. Uh, and uh, the axis is 150. Uh, we're going to put a T4 Acrosoft uh, spheric toric IOL. And uh, we saw before the six o'clock mark that we placed on the slit lamp to guide us intraoperatively. And we can see how there's some cyclic rotation after the parabola binder CCI is given. And we're coming in, we're marking our 250 axis uh, and nice uh, 2.75 clear cornea incision here. The only challenging part is that the uh, perilimbal cornea is quite opaque. Uh, but uh, no atrophy there will perform uh, a, initially with our cystotome an incision to the anterior capsule and a uh, continuous uh, curvilinear capsular axis. Nothing really challenging here despite the fact that the superior cornea is quite cloudy. I'm using my um, Sinsky hook to elevate the globe a little bit to my direction and enhance my red reflex. And um, here, one-handed uh, capsorexis, and now our divide and conquer technique of uh, nucleus disassembly. I'm going to use the central groove, and I'm using the signature FACO device, crack in half. And then, um, since the lens is not extremely hard, I'm going to just pull up, engage and pull up each uh, hemimeridian of the lens and complete my cataract surgery here. I'm picking up uh, half of the lens. Always viscoed in the anterior chamber to maximize the epithelial cell protection. I may uh, go back and add some more at this stage, for instance. Um, it's not unusual that I'll use uh, three tubes of viscoed. I know it's a large expense, but uh, a great uh, lifesaver for uh, endothelial cells, if I can use that term using my split uh, irrigation aspiration device here. You can see the tip is also diamond dusted in order to polish the um, posterior capsule if that is needed. And we're starting to see here uh, uh, what we always love in uh, clear cornea cataract surgery, a nice red reflex and uh, carefully coming in to remove the residual cortical material that's um, under the capsular rexis, under direct visualization. Again, I opt in um, patients out here in uh, the old country of Greece to use periboal anesthesia. I only use uh, five cc's of zolicane diluted with uh, normal saline here, the toric IOL implanted, which usually lasts for about an hour. So usually patients hang out in our ambulatory surgery unit for a half hour after the procedure and their eyes uh, attain full mobility and no double vision I'm here making sure that the tuition of the lens is right at par with my marks at 150 degrees patient a uh, month later is enjoying a 2025 uncorrected visual acuity uh, quite challenging case yeah, I took you through a long trip I hope you enjoyed it this is John Kamalopoulos signing out thanks so much for your attention